Yeah, that's, this is a really great question, and I think it, it ties directly into uh, what I just said about uh, uh, stopping the bad versus freeing the good. Uh, most cybersecurity companies have always focused around uh, stopping the bad. Uh, that, that's really been the, the history of it, looking at vulnerabilities, then threats, uh, then understanding that you know, threats are going to get inside and so forth, but still very threat-centric. Um, you know, we believe that actually by, by monitoring behavior, you can actually begin to understand patterns uh, of usage uh, of critical data. Uh, and as you observe those patterns of critical data, you can, uh, you can determine uh, when risky behavior uh, starts to take place. And as risk elevates, then you can actually use that in a way to protect the data. For example, if, um, if you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, uh, going about your day-to-day -day job, uh, you, know, you should have a fairly uh, tolerant uh, uh, posture regarding security. If on the other hand you start to exhibit riskier behavior, uh, then uh, at that point the security can start to ratchet up and the security can then uh, be more aggressive and, and take more um, you know, uh, uh, action, active steps in order to be able to protect the data. Uh, so the simple idea is um, stay out of the way when everything is going right and then when things are not going so well then uh, insert and, and assert uh, and, and make sure that you're protected.